A little nonprofit is getting international attention for its life saving exports. The group manufactures devices that produce clean drinking water and disinfectant, but Wave News reporter David Mattingly finds this has led to a new challenge. What you're looking at is an assembly line. These devices are saving lives all over the world. The question is, can the people making them keep up with demand? Inside the old Louisville headquarters of Waterstep, a 30-year-old nonprofit is learning new lessons in mass production. We find their water on wheels or wow carts do such a good job of processing clean drinking water that demand in underdeveloped parts of the world is through the roof. Our teams internationally um, have, have made such a, um, an impact and made such a name for Waterstep and what it can do and what they do, we can't keep up with them. Waterstep estimates their products, including bleach makers and chlorine generators, have helped 14 million people around the world, 2 million more just this year alone. And where volunteers once turned out maybe 10 wow carts in a year, they recently had to ramp up to three a day. Literally, we had to refabricate the way that we built these carts throughout the building. So we had to come up with an assembly line process. To keep the line moving, this nonprofit operating on a $3 million budget also benefits from engineering expertise from U of L and UK. A time saving redesign of their old chlorine generator came about with the help of GE. How long did it take you to make this one? About three days because things have to dry and set up in this one. And the new one, how long does it take you? An hour or two because it fits together like a puzzle. With continued demand almost assured, the one missing piece to Waterstep's future growth is money. They estimate millions of dollars would be needed to answer two pressing questions. Can we make what we need to make for the demand? Can we finance that now? And that's, that's where we're at. And as word continues to spread, so does the pressure to keep up for a small Louisville nonprofit that has found a way to improve lives very far from home. David Mattingly, Wave News.